Hey guys, Tech Commentary with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to set up family sharing on your iPhone on the latest iOS version and explain to you what family sharing is if you're not familiar with family sharing. So let's get started. So on the iOS, our latest version of it, if you go into setting of your iPhone, you should already be signed into your Apple account. If you're not, you need to ensure that you're signed in and you simply click on your name or your Apple ID account here. And if you look here, there's an option for family sharing. Now, if you click on it, it's going to explain to you what family sharing is, which basically with family sharing, you can share your subscription, music, movie, and other media purchases up to five people on your contact list. Now, why this is helpful is like if you have a family, right, and you don't want everyone to purchase the same music, movie, app, subscription, right, all over, you can use it so that they can also save money and you can save money because you already purchased that a subscription or purchased something and that also gives you allows you to set up parental control especially if you're using it for a child's device and set up restrictions as well so a lot of other features come with it you can also do location service sharing along with the family sharing so in order to set it up it's really simple all you do is continue here and once you hit continue here, what will happen is if you have a list of contact, it will already show up here where you can invite them. So they have to go ahead and accept the invite. Uh, if it's a child account that you like to do it on their device, you can create one for them. So if you want to invite someone, you can, if you don't see the person's list here, you can click on that plus icon there. Um, you can send an airdrop if they're nearby, or you can just simply message them or email them right you'll put in their phone number or contact info and it will send them join the family which basically you're inviting them to join so they can uh do share their media purchases and subscription um so you can share with them and once they accept it they will show up here on the list here so that you can select what you can share with them so that's how you set up a family sharing it's a easier way to do more things with your family without having to share the same Apple ID as in most people. Sometimes in the family, you share the same Apple ID, which again, on iOS 17 makes things tricky, especially when it comes to um, things like call history being merged now, um, things like voicemails getting merged and all these other things. So Apple recommends is that you create separate Apple ID. So they all have to have a separate Apple ID. And in order to share in, uh, things like that purchase that you don't need to use the same Apple ID, you simply invite them to the family sharing so they can get the same benefits of app purchases and uh, media purchases that you have done on your iPhone. So that's how family sharing works. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, this explanation. Hope you guys understand what family sharing is on your iPhone. If so, please make that like and subscribe button for future tips and tricks on your iPhone. See you guys next time.